Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I wanted to bring you guys along with me to grocery shop. I've been running low on some of my supplies and food so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and show you what I've been buying and what I've been eating. Today's video I wanted to show you guys a fish stew recipe that I love so so much. It's one of my favorite things that Wall makes and today happens to be my birthday so that is my birthday wish for today. This is what I'm wearing today for my birthday <laughs> and for the grocery store. So I'm just wearing this really casual but cute outfit. This blouse I thrifted and as for my jumpsuit this is from our spring collection from Woman. This is the Brin jumpsuit and we only have it in one color. This really really cute blue slate color and it has these nickel buttons. I'm wearing it in a size small and I love how it fits. This is just super easy. It's something you can just throw on. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. Super comfortable and I can see myself wearing this a lot because it has such a nice, strong, tough fabric. It's really gonna last. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing and then I'm gonna put on some white sneakers. Our first stop, we went to a Trader Joe's near my house, but the line was insane. It was literally wrapped around the block. So we waited about five minutes and just decided to go to another location instead. This one was great. We only had to wait about five minutes outside. Went inside, got everything we needed. It was well stocked. So that was a really easy, great grocery run. All right, guys, I thought I'd give you a grocery haul. I got three full bag of groceries. So this will last us maybe a week so starting with some of the snacks we got this cookie butter sandwich cookie this is so good last week wall bought some of these and when he was eating them i was like they look so dry it can't be good but i ended up finishing it it was that good and then i got a jar of these peach halves i know i could just snack on an actual real peach but for some reason these ones taste so 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 much better they hit differently and then you got Healthy Hot Cheetos. If y'all don't know about these, you need to get on it. We've got some ones. What is this? This is just the Trader Joe's brand. This is the cabinet souvenir. souvenir. <laughs> Wall got some buffalo jerky. And then for the fish stew tonight, we got two cans of diced tomatoes. I got three Roma tomatoes, 29 cents each. We have some organic shredded mozzarella cheese. This is really good for really just anything, but I want to put it in pasta because in Japan, I had this really good spaghetti from 7-Eleven and on top, they just had this like melted chunk of mozzarella cheese. It was so good. So I'm trying to recreate that. And then we got some, some bread. We're going to use this to make garlic bread. This is the shiabata. Is that how you say it? Shiabata? Demi baguette. And then we got some eggs. These are from Chino Valley Ranchers pasture raised eggs. Two packs of tilapia filet. There's two pieces in each. This is also gonna go in the fish stew tonight. <laughs> okay, last bag. We got some cremini mushrooms. These are Wall's like favorites. We will always have a bag of these in our house. These chili spice mangoes. What is this? Like mm -hmm. a beef jerky stick? Yeah. It's like a healthy Slim Jim. No, I shouldn't say healthy. I don't think it's. Oh. Zero sugar, nine grams of protein and 90 calories. That's actually not bad. Oh my God, if you guys haven't tried this before, this is so good. This is their mushroom ravioli and it's in a mushroom truffle sauce. This is so good. And I like to cut up some of these mushrooms and put it in there. It's amazing. We got some salmon. This will also go in the fish stew tonight. Bag of onions. And lastly, oh, a shallot, <laughs> one shallot. And then lastly, some good old lightly salted chips. I love sodium. All right, now let me show you guys the recipe for this delicious fish stew. Starting with my fish, I'm using tilapia, cod, salmon, and scallop. You can really use any type of fish that you want or seafood. We've even put clams and shrimp in here before, so it's really up to you. And then you wanna clean off your fish, and after that, blot it dry with a paper towel. This is gonna be very helpful for when you're frying it because if you remove majority of the moisture, then the oil won't splash everywhere. And as for the seasoning for the fish, it's very simple. We just did garlic powder, salt, pepper, and what else? I think that's it. 
Now go ahead and set the fish aside. You're gonna let it marinate for a little bit. In the meantime, grab your garlic and start smashing them. I prepared about 12 cloves of garlic. Honestly, the more the better. And now take two onions. You're going to peel it. And after you peel it, you're just gonna cut them into wedges. For even more flavor, we're gonna take one whole shallot, peel it, and then cut them into slices. This is gonna add so much more flavor. I love, love, love the smell of shallots. It's just like an onion, but times 10. And now you're gonna get ready to fry the fish. We're gonna heat up our pan on high heat. You want it to be hot, like smoking hot, and then add your fish into the hot boiling oil. This is gonna prevent it from sticking to the pan. I actually learned this in a cooking class and it's been very, very helpful in frying fish. Also, always wear an apron when you're frying fish because I learned the hard way. While your fish is frying up, I have another tip for you. I like to take long chopsticks when I'm doing this. That way I can create a lot of distance from the pan and not get splashed by the hot oil. You're pretty much through with half of the process by the time you finish frying your fish. So set these babies aside, and I know this looks like a lot of food, which it is for two people, so we're gonna eat it over a course of a couple of days, but if you're in a huge family, this is perfect. So now let's start making the sauce. You're gonna put in all of your shallots, onions, garlic that were prepared earlier, put it in a big pot and fry it up with some avocado oil. Not for too long, you just wanna stir fry it a little bit until the fragrance comes out. And then you're gonna take two big cans of diced tomatoes and add it into this whole mixture. And this whole time I'm using, I think like medium heat. It really just depends. I feel like every stove is different. So just make sure it's hot enough where it's cooking everything, but not burning the bottom. And the next step, very, very crucial. We're gonna take some bay leaves. I feel like the bay leaves, even with just three leaves, it's so, so fragrant. Definitely not a step you wanna miss out on. So make sure you put some bay leaves up in there. And you're just gonna stir it all in, have it all mix nicely and I love cooking with wine especially with this fish stew I feel like it just makes a world of a difference so I have a little bit of this red wine left and I'm just gonna toss it in there and you're just gonna mix it up that's pretty much the base of the fish stew. It's so, so simple, but so delicious. And I want a little bit of tardiness to the fish stew. So I'm gonna take this lemon. It's like a really special lemon that I found at Trader Joe's. It's a lemon, but it looks like an orange. So we're just gonna squeeze an entire lemon into the pot. And lastly, the final step, you're gonna add all of your fried fish into this pot. I like to leave the scallops out for the end because those tend to cook really, really fast. So I leave those out and I add them in in the last like 10 minutes. If your fish stew is getting a little dried out, it's totally normal, don't freak out. Just add a little bit of water in there to dilute it and you should be good. Then I like to lower it to low heat and we just let this baby simmer. Honestly, the longer the better, but we let it simmer for about an hour before devouring it. And that concludes this amazing fish stew recipe. I hope you guys try it out. I promise you it is so, so delicious. I used to not be a huge fan of fish, but this changed the game for me. So you guys have to try this out. And I serve it over a bed of rice, of course. And you know me, I love my carbs. So I also made a side of garlic bread. I didn't show how to make the garlic bread because I figured garlic bread is pretty simple. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.